can you start? Uh, started off good. First was pretty good. Uh, you know, after that, it just seemed to be a little bit just the mistakes hurt us. The guys, you know, getting on base and you know we don't we don't cover the the, the bunt play. We end up kind of throwing away a little bit and cost us you know, probably a couple there. But you know, mainly just not the. I think it was just disappointing. You know, we start off good. You know, they get two right back. We score again. You know, and every time we, every time we were scoring, we were giving them right back. So it was disappointing that we didn't get a shutdown in there somewhere to kind of keep the momentum on our side of the field. You know, once they got that lead, it seemed like uh, Trevor, you know, was settling down as the game was going on, and, and uh, just couldn't couldn't get to him. Uh, for young guys, especially when facing a playoff caliber team, that when they fall behind, like you say, and magnifying the, the importance of that shutdown inning, what, what the pitcher has to do to just kind of do his part. Yeah, I think uh, obviously the shutdown is it's nice to keep that momentum, but more than anything, you just want to see a guy go out there and basically throw it through a wall, you know, basically, and you, get, you play against good teams and you got a chance to be aggressive and, and go get people. Uh, you want to see them be on the attack, and you know you want to. You got to use your pitches, though. You got to use your change. You got to use the breaking ball. He gets hurt with the breaking ball by Santana, and then he gets hurt with the the change to, to Carlos there. What do you think's been the biggest struggle for Sandy so far, and kind of the starts where he's had trouble? Uh, to me, it's I always see it as lack of aggression. It's like a lack of like confidence in his fastball. You know, like you don't really see the. I know you said before that's kind of like a mentality to have that kind of aggressiveness. But how do you, how do you kind of hammer that through to a pitcher saying you need to kind of go after these guys more like that? No, well, we talk about it a lot, and you know, we talk about it in spring, and you know, guys are around, Georgie Posada's around, and talking about, you know, just the mentality of that, um, and you just hope that it's going to grow in, you know, grow into that, right, and and become. You know, I mean, with with walk situation too with Neil. Yeah, well, that, that's what puts you in a little bit more of a bind is that walks trying to nurse him through to get to the other side of the off day too. So, um, you know, it's a little stretch. Get a good outing tomorrow. Don't need pinch hitters. That'd be great. <laughs> and uh, and and we'll see. Sandy, where did you feel the struggles were coming from tonight? Bueno, primeramente lo de gracia Dios ya que me mantuvo saludable ahí afuera en el juego y nada y, y estuve batallando lo más que pude sabes tratando de, de hacer consistente tirando la bola para home plate. Well, first I want to thank God, you know, for keeping me healthy out there. And uh, first of all, what I was trying to do just to keep myself consistent and throw the ball right there. And Sandy, Donnie mentioned that when he sees you struggle this year, he thinks it's a lack of attack. Do you do you feel it's the same thing? Bueno, sabes, estamos trabajando en eso desde el pre-training en atacar a los bateadores, ser consistente en todo lo que tenemos que hacer. Y nada, me estoy enfocando bastante en eso, en el bullpen. ¿eh? Me estoy tratando de hacerlo en el juego, pero no sé lo que está pasando, así que los bateadores se están ajustando a mí pronto, rápido. Perdón. Well, that's one of the things I've been working on since spring training, you know, making the adjustment, getting the adjustment of the batters. Uh, and I try to work that on, the, on my bullpens. I don't know what's going on with the, the batters. Maybe they're getting it well adjusted. But it's one of the things I'm going to keep working on. Much. I'm sorry. The, the fact you face some back-to-back -back starts, do you think they're a little more familiar with how you pitch and approach them? The fact you face. Well, I don't know what's going on. As he said, I have a few good starts that have been almost the same, but I don't get rid of them. I have to keep my head in the air, keep positive, and do things well every day. Well, like, like you said, you know, maybe that thing, having back-to-back, -back, uh, but I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep my head uh, up high and, you know, keep working and get better every day. Garrett, how are you doing? Uh, I'm all right. It's swollen. Um, nothing was broken in the next ray so that was a good thing. Um, it's pretty pretty swollen right now, but you know, just take it day by day, and the grip's a little little tough, you know, you know, right above the knuckles. So not not dealing with a lot of tendons or any of that stuff. So it's just a nice good bone bruise right on right on the outside of the knuckle. How much does it mentally wear on you, Garrett? Uh, Man, to say last, you know, last year, it's it's definitely more of a grind mentally than it is physically. Um, you know, just to take each day by day, you come back healthy, 
you know, just an errant pitch. Got away from him tonight, and it's a part of sports. You know, it's I've gotten hit with the with the bad luck charm so much the last uh, last year or so. But you know, hopefully this will be short lived and come back stronger than ever. What was going through your head on that one, the first game back and the second <laughs> at bat for that to happen? You know, it's uh, when I took the glove off when I, after I got hit. You know, you think you think of the worst just because you know you're hoping. But you know, when you look down, you see your hand pretty, pretty swollen already. It's uh, it's definitely not the greatest feeling, um, you know. But athletes deal with it all the time, so it's just something, something you got to get through. And you know, hopefully, you know, the bruising will go down in the next few days. It's gonna be an emotional swing, right? <laughs> then the X-ray comes back, and you're feeling pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's you know, you're happy to have nothing broken, you know, nothing fractured. So uh, you know, it's just a it's a nice bruise, so you just that sigh of relief after the you know they tell you nothing's you know broken. So just going by day by day, and you just see how I feel tomorrow morning.